Hi guys, I trust you're well. You know, um, this coronavirus thing is something that I find pretty interesting. Uh, I don't know, really. I, I just needed to get this off my chest, really. Because, how do I even begin this? It's irritating. Not the virus, the way people are reacting. What really gets me, of course, as always, is people who call themselves Christians and they cannot respond or react the way the Bible has taught us to do. So I would ask you the question, exactly which Bible are you reading? Or are you even reading your Bible at all? Matthew chapter 24. Jesus is asked by his disciples, what are the signs of your coming? And then when shall these things be? Jesus did not tell them when it will be. But he gave so many signs. He told them, really, just the same way you can look at the sky. And you can say, ah, it's going to rain. Oh, the sun is going to shine. Just the same way when you see these signs. You should know that the end is near. Coronavirus or whatever else there may be. All over the Bible, Matthew 24, Daniel chapters 7 to 12, Revelations, emphasis on chapter where, all of it talks repeatedly about pestilence, about famine, about wars, about earthquakes. How and why should anybody who calls themselves a child of God be afraid? Why are you afraid? In this world, you shall have tribulations. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Problems are bound to come. Even if there is no coronavirus, as long as you are a child of God, yes, and you are an enemy of the devil, the devil himself will find a way to attack you. But this is a situation in which the entire world is groaning. I, I mean, of course, it's a fact. Nobody expected that this virus would go over the world the way it is going right now. But how does that change anything? There is nothing wrong with being prepared. As a matter of fact, if you are not prepared, you are foolish. You should have done your shopping. You should have stopped your house. You should have informed your children about what to expect in the real world. So that at this time, as a child of God, your light begins to shine even when the world collapses around you. I don't think this is the end of the world. But even if it is, so what? For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. So I'm not worried about whether I live or die. That's not the issue. The issue is what happens after. And as long as I'm in this world, I represent Jesus. And any child of God who cannot think that way, well, you have some growing to do. That's basically it. That's all there is to it. I don't want to talk for too long. As a child of God, you should be in your word right now. You should be studying the word and the Holy Spirit should be bringing to your mind the things that you've studied. So that when things get rough, instead of breaking down like the world around you, like Paul and Silas in prison after they had been beaten and bound in chains waiting for possible execution the next day, they started to praise and worship God. And God chose to show up in this situation. I'm challenging you to do better. I'm challenging you to be better. Be the representation of Jesus Christ here on earth. Show the world what it means to be a child of God. And if you don't think you are mature enough to do it, well, spend time on your knees and get mature. Either way, this is not the time to panic. This is the time to glorify God. For the NX expectation of the creature is awaiting the manifestation of the sons of God. As a child of God, it's a time for you to begin to manifest as a child of God. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.